Hi, I'm Mark Blackmer, and in this video, I'm going to give you a high-level introduction to Cisco CyberVision. Cisco CyberVision is a cybersecurity solution specifically designed to ensure continuity, resilience, and safety of industrial operations. It monitors industrial assets and application flows to extend IT security to the OT domain. It achieves this through seamless integration with the IT Security Operations Center and through easy deployment within the industrial network. We'll cover the major challenges facing industrial IoT adopters, how CyberVision addresses those problems, and what makes us unique in the market. For detailed documentation and content, please visit the CyberVision Hub on Sales Connect. Okay, so let's talk about some of these challenges. There are always trade-offs in life, and in the Internet of Things, it's a perfect example. The IoT brings great value and great opportunities for those organizations that adopt the IoT, and that's especially true for the industrial IoT, or IIoT. I'll give you an example. Consider predictive maintenance. Now, imagine a manufacturer with hundreds of robots operating production lines in, say, China, Mexico, and India. The robots help the manufacturer operate more efficiently to keep costs down and profits up. So an interruption of production will have a direct financial impact to the company. What predictive maintenance does is it means that the robot manufacturer receives performance data from the robots and can ideally spot trouble before it occurs. They may be able to perform maintenance remotely, thereby reducing costs and minimizing any impact to production. Sounds great, right? I'd say that it is. And it's important to understand the risks this scenario introduces. Broadly speaking, industrial devices had been traditionally isolated from corporate networks and especially from the internet. But to get the benefits of the IoT, the devices must now be networked together with their corporate environments and the internet. This brings to light three major issues facing the IIoT. Visibility. Most industrial network owners just don't know everything that's on their networks. And number two, segmentation. Many industrial networks are flat networks, so they are unable to block unwanted communications. And thirdly, and this is a big one, scalability. Deploying equipment across a geographically dispersed environment quickly becomes expensive and difficult to manage. So, these are exactly the challenges that CyberVision was created to help customers overcome. So, let's, let's talk about scale here for a minute. So, CyberVision is built on a two-tier architecture consisting of the sensor and the center. The sensor is deployed at the edge, and that's big news. Why? I'm glad you asked. This speaks directly to the scale issue. The CyberVision sensor is software that can be embedded in select Cisco switches, routers, and gateways. This means CyberVision can be deployed on existing Cisco hardware. So imagine the benefit to, say, an electric or water utility with hundreds or even thousands of substations. No additional physical space is required for additional hardware, and the software is managed centrally. Not only does this mean big savings for our customers, but this also means it makes it easier for customers' industrial cybersecurity projects to move forward. Sensors may also be deployed on dedicated hardware, which means there's flexibility for different deployment scenarios. Now, let's focus on visibility here for a second. The sensor's primary function is deep packet inspection of industrial protocols. For our customers, that means they now have an asset inventory of devices, protocols, open ports, communication patterns, and more on their industrial networks. We also identify vulnerabilities within the industrial network extending visibility from the IT security operations centers out to OT. Now, IT and OT can collaborate to increase service resilience through improved cybersecurity. With this more complete visibility, we can now establish baselines and alert our customers to deviations in those baselines. Imagine that a printer suddenly starts communicating with one of our production line robots that we know to be vulnerable. That is highly suspicious behavior that both operations and the IT SOC will want to investigate. Without CyberVision, it's unlikely that this suspicious behavior would have been detected. And now this brings us into where segmentation comes in. Network segmentation is a complex topic, and so we provide our customers with options. CyberVision is integrated with Cisco Identity Services Engine, ICE, and Cisco Firepower, amongst other technologies. Now, if we take this communication scenario, CyberVision can provide both ICE and Firepower the details they need to control access to critical devices. For instance, the customer may have an ICE policy that forbids communications to robots from all but the robot's management applications. Real-time alerts from CyberVision may also trigger different policies that allow service continuity while blocking suspicious behavior. 
The value for CyberVision customers is that our integrations extend CyberVision's capabilities to help keep our customers' services resilient while mitigating cybersecurity threats. Now, I'd like to make just one last point that I think is a big differentiator, and that's integrations, some of which I just mentioned. CyberVision's integrations with DNA Center, our security portfolio, and in our networking portfolio means greater value for our Cisco customers wherever they may be along their IIoT journey. Equally important is CyberVision's integrations with third-party technologies. This flexibility means CyberVision is integral and valuable in securing the IIoT regardless of a customer's incumbent technologies. This also makes CyberVision a great way to get your foot in the door where Cisco technologies have not yet been deployed. I hope this video gave you a solid introduction to what CyberVision is, how it works, and its unique value. There is much more to the story that we just couldn't squeeze into this time frame, so be sure to visit Sales Connect for the latest content and documentation. Thanks, and happy selling.